resolution sometimes sometimes having a part two to a story isn't really necessary having a follow-up allowing your mind to fill in the gaps is one of the reasons why I actually love old-school sci-fi they gave you this story right and then they said well it continued on but how it continued on I don't know you'll have to figure that out yourself you're the one that has to create the the remainder of the story you know there could be a happily ever after resolution or it could be a little bit more thought-provoking and I think that's why I really loved old sci-fi because even though you had a resolution to the main drama there was still always something else it's like it's like the idea of aliens right hmm any alien for that matter so you have a story of something that's happened in your town right and you come to find out that aliens have been the cause hell look at ID4 Independence Day yes there was resolution but we know for a fact that that wasn't the only alien situation if you will and now there's obviously a sequel to the series but conceptually although the resol there, there is a resolution that occurs on the planet that still means that we're not alone that means that there's still something else out there it means that there could be another alien invasion it could be that there's simply just aliens out there that we want to hopefully meet you know, if the first time we ever meet aliens is they fucking destroy us, that sucks. If they're trying to invade us and the like, you know, that sucks. Because then that, that colors our vision of how we think it should happen. How, you know, it, it, it changes how we approach the future. If the first thing that happens with us is something that feels warlike, then that's what we're going to prepare for. And a lot of times that can benefit us, but a lot of times it can also be destructive. Okay, so the same writing prompt 